Time for Footitis. Sponsored by BoatBuys.ca. 10,000 boats online. Freaker Boats has developed a solid reputation by delivering a lot of value for your money across their entire boat line and especially with the cruisers. Now back in 2005, they introduced a new 360 Fiesta V, a cruiser that came pretty much fully optioned. Well, this week on Foot-Itis, we're going to take a look at a 2006 model that has some additional options that are really something else. Although easily recognized as a Rinker Fiesta V Express with its flowing lines, this boat is missing something. Do you notice there are no Rinker logos on the hull? This is because of the level of customization. The forward-leaning radar arch is not only appealing, but quite functional. The large swim platform provides great access from the dock and water with a four-rung stainless ladder. Nice touches at the transom are the flush mount retractable cleats and the cavernous transom locker with storage for tons of gear, hot and cold shower, and the stern power connections, a nice addition to the forward connections. The two levels divide the cockpit into distinct areas. The comfortable transom seating and refreshment center designate the lower area for entertaining. The upper cockpit has a curved settee facing the helm. The settee base holds a ton of gear, including the additional table. The 360's helm is not only impressive, but functional as well. It has a comfortable double helm seat with fore and aft adjustment and a flip-up bolster. The tilt wheel makes running the boat while standing quite comfortable. The upper binnacle houses the main engine instruments and the flush mounted radar chart plotter front and center where it should be. The optional bow thruster control and well positioned shifters will make docking stress free. The only path to the foredeck is through the windscreen. This boat normally sports a sun pad at the bow and custom stainless work has been done to extend the railing out over the pulpit and to mount the spotlight and pennant staffs. The area that's been customized the most on this particular rinker is down here in the salon. And what stands out first, obviously, is the galley. A lot of custom cabinetry here. You'll note what you should see is cabinets that come down to about this level, and it should be wide open here with a porthole. Well, the owner designed all of this custom work that was done at the factory to expand the storage here, to allow room for the built-in microwave for these custom spice racks, and added all this additional storage so that he's got lots of room to do some fancy cooking. Opposite the galley are a very accommodating settee and custom teak and holly table. Above the settee, cabinets abound and at the forward end of the settee are a liquor cabinet and the electrical panel, DVD player, CD changer and 2000 watt stereo system are tucked away in the upper cabinet. The head has a separate shower, vacuum flush toilet, vanity and stainless sink set in a Corian counter. Behind the optional wall and door is a comfortable master berth with inner spring mattress, an overhead hatch, and two ports for ventilation, and a TV-DVD combo. The last major custom work in this rinker was to fabricate a bulkhead and matching wood veneer that turns the standard mid-cabin into a private relaxing area or berth for two. The on-water test verified the Rinker 360's seakeeping abilities as winds were gusting to 60 kilometers per hour. The twin 375 horsepower Volvo 8.1 V8s with dual prop drives accelerated the rinker smartly with moderate bow rise. She cruised nicely at 31 miles per hour and was able to hit 43 miles per hour in the choppy conditions. Now the chances of finding a Fiesta V360 with all of the options, upgrades and changes incorporated in this boat are low. However, this boat does illustrate the value that can be found in a used 360 on the open market and the money you save can be invested in the options and upgrades that you'd like to have.